Welcome back to PHP Rad Frontend Development. Um, in this tutorial, we're coming to look at how to um, how to create a comment section like this. In our previous video, we were able to design our view page. In this tutorial, we are coming to design this. So to start with, you open your Frontend Development uh, PHP Rad Studio. Then we you come over here to your comments, and you are coming to create two pages first page you are coming to create obviously we are coming to name it sm list and um, it should be the list type then we added the second one we want to create we are coming to call it um, sm add and this time around it should be a add page type right so you add it then moving forward we start setting this sm list first of all we want to make it an adjust page then coming down here, we want to make it a grid. Want the column to be 12. We want the animated bounds, we want to take it off. And also, we want to make the labeling to be none. We want the comment uh, empty record message to be B, the first, first to comment. Then, moving forward here, we want the record limit. To be three i prefer three but you can change it i have my reason for three because i want things to be quick quick when showing it to you guys so the next thing is um the pagination we want to change it to load more button then um i guess we are almost done with this settings another thing we want to toggle off and on is this guy we want to set the field format to be relative date and we don't want to show it and this one too we want to make it relative date but we will show this one it should come immediately in between after name then the email address we don't want to show it of course nobody would like to see his or her email address in public then the msg being the message it should come um okay it should sit there then the name should be there the article id it should be zero i will show you what we are going to use with this article id the article id is different from the id so the same with the id it should be zero so we move down to to our sm ad first thing first we have to we want to change the form layout to vertical no label and um uh we want the redirecting to be okay okay i think we are okay from this point another thing we want to do here is um we want to come to date and time we want to set the default value same thing with date created then the msg should be test area you can leave it five email address um it shouldn't be required the name shouldn't be required because some people don't want to write their name but they want to comment and the article we want to hide it the article id we want to hide it don't check this make sure it's in test boss and you just hide the test boss type then the id you just leave it the way it is moving forward over to sm list again uh okay okay don't worry let's go to article and go to view article view we go to design and we come back to this section row container we want to add new colons we want to add new colons and this first colon we want to make it call lg call lg to the seven then we want to make the order order to be two then um order to be two then order lg to be one all right then the same thing over there call lg call lg to be five and want to make the order to be uh, by default order will be one but order in lg will be two make sure your spellings are correct all right so having done that we want to come to the section role itself um, we change the bit the we can you can just mess around with these things i made my py5 then padding of three so moving further on this call lg we want to render the comment sub page we created which is the sm list 
want to render it here and also at the cool lg5 we want to render the uh, sm add the add one All right so we don't want to show the header of both of them we don't want to show the header and we would like to preview it to see what we have done so far all right this is what we have done um let me let's try to type some message we can set our name to somebody somebody and the email address let's assume we don't have and let's try to let's try to say something we want to type then we paste as you can see this it says article field is required so back I want you to come over here to the comment SM ad I want you to go to field value data bind and just click here and go to article ID remember we hide it go to article ID and um, choose the value to be data ID don't make it page ID just make it data ID sometimes you may have issues when you choose page ID that's why I want you to choose data ID all right then we preview it we try the things we did the last time that didn't work for us we say somebody some somebody and something something about somebody something about somebody and we paste it as you can see it has sent us to this page and that is what we don't want to have to solve this problem as a whole what you need to do is go to your article come to your view enable this adjust page make it true then you go back to where we are and we can go back as you can see our message have come here but we want to um, retype the message to see if the adjust page we set is working John Smith and we can say submit wow it just come John Smith said submit okay so moving forward we want to style this thing a bit so we come to our comments to SM card design I want this guy I want to remove this guy completely and I want this guy to be 12 and also over here I want this guy to be card card and um, we can preview it okay you can see the card now around this guy moving forward to the SM list itself we want to do some styling we want to come over here and add card again and I want to show you how it looks like when you add card so each comment each comment is going to be in a card you see it has grouped them to make it a card but we want to organize this thing and we want to make it a bit stylish so to do that two things are coming to happen here we come over to our name we want to go custom custom then we have to check go inside here and do something but before we do that i want to pick an icon that i want to paste there which is this user icon i just want to show you how i get my icons you just copy it and close it and close it okay so you come down here to these names and um, you can simply type this D class uh, make it MB MY of 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 three then inside the MY we can have a we can paste the icon we got and we make it P to border we'll make it rounded rounded to the circle and we make it alert primary and then this guy we can cut it x we have cut it it's okay then you move over to date and date created also change it to custom so that you will have this custom code available for you then we go inside this span and we create a b class which is going to be bold we want to paste this guy but this guy want to remove this span and also want to remove this span by the side okay all right then we move forward to here for readability purposes that's why i'm just doing this for you to know that this guy is closing this guy this b is 
this one closed it, the, closes it so we want this guy to be small and want the class to say um, want it to be muted test muted and okay we can close it and we can just grab this thing move it up and um, test muted we have to make it make it nice so that it will work for us another thing we want to do is we want to have some space that we nbsp so this is actually a space that we are calling over here all right having done that um, we can simply say view as you can see you have the icon you have the name of the person sending the message and you have the date or the time but there's something we want to control before we call it a day when we come over to this article we are seeing the comment even though the comment isn't for this article we commented for the other article so what we can do is come to our article view article view where we rendered this sm list page we want to control it just like the same we did something here we want to come to comment sm list and control it we want to filter them by article id now you have seen where the article id is working article id is different from this id we are talking about article id so the value of the article id to merge it with should be the data id all right just like the same way we did it over here we said um article id the value should be id all right this time around we we just made it a kind of filter all right we remove this um page limit we just want to make sure it's completely empty and we preview it As you can see the comment is off because the comment doesn't belong to this article id so we go back home and we locate uh, this guy we view it and as you can see we are viewing our comment so go home and view something else something like this girl i like the girl's tongue is nice so we we say something like wilson and we can say wilson hot and we something you know let's try to type something maybe nice and we submit it good so we are we get it over here and what if our user didn't type their name or anything and they just type i love this page and they submit will it actually come yes it came just that their name isn't there so if you want this name if it's empty you want to write something instead of leaving it empty you can come to this custom sm list sm list we have done you know our name is now in this date we have take it out of this name and we have pasted it in this date so we come over here and we said um php echo this then we can come over here and say the same thing we will say we say php if not empty then if this data if this data if this data isn't empty if, if this data name isn't empty echo this else 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 echo this and inside here we want to say unknown user unknown user we publish it submit okay we are getting some error here of course um let's fix the error i'll give you the code below when i'm done so php echo unknown user php else um if not empty data then echo this else right preview we are still getting the error um where is the error coming from set our one back where is the error coming from Oh no, 
expected this, expecting this. Alright, so we were able to get it. We missed something. Unknown user. You see, you didn't type your name and we got this unknown user. So thank you guys. Um, let's check it. Preview in a bigger browser. Let's see how it's going to look like. Alright. So, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and type something here. Let's go ahead and type something here. Let me get for Ipsum and paste it on known user because you didn't type your name. But if you say I type my name to Tangod, which is actually my name, and I say control V and I say submit, you see we get this thing, Linda. Okay. Did I say Linda or Tangod? Oh, okay thank god just came thank you guys so much for for your time i'll catch you in the next one